In this in-depth tutorial I will show you how to create a digital watercolor painting from a reference photo step by step. Before we begin, you can download all tutorial files including the reference free of charge. And if you like my videos, you can access even more tutorials on my Patreon page. All links are in the video description below. Now let's grab our pencils and get started. The size of the canvas is 2000 by 2500 pixels. In the beginning, I'll go to select this grey color together with textured cardboard brush. It's from my Patreon paper pack. So the size and opacity are at maximum and I will just apply the texture on the canvas. Then I'll change the layers mode to color burn. We can also lock the layer in order not to damage it. Now let's create another layer and drag it under the texture. For sketching I'll select black color and sketching pencil from the bundle. Its size is set to 33%. To use the reference image, I'll go to Actions, Canvas, Reference, switch to Image and import it. Let me drag it to the left and I will zoom it in. This is the part of the photo I'd like to draw. Let me place it this way so the door is in the center of the image. If we look at the reference, we can see that all lines going from the corners inwards meet in one point. This is what is called one point perspective. In Procreate there is a tool that makes perspective drawing very easy and we're gonna use it. The point will be located somewhere here. To activate perspective drawing, we need to go to actions and use drawing guide. If we click edit drawing guide, we'll get this menu. So let's select perspective. Now we need to add a vanishing point. I'll tap here and also enable assisted drawing. We are all set up now, so let's click done. I'll be using the guide and looking at the reference photo, trying to repeat the shapes. We don't need to use quick shape tool in this case because all the lines will be snapped to the guide. We just need to make the strokes like this to keep them snapped. For now I'm working only on straight lines and building up the biggest shapes. Also considering the proportions in this zoomed area on the reference image. Let's draw this vertical line and then this arc with bricks. the small horizontal part then another vertical line and we will draw the curvy part later let's proceed to the door first I'll create outlines for the slight area around the door and then draw the door itself straight lines first It's this shape. And from here I'll go following the guides. Let's now draw two more vertical lines. And work on this corner which is rather complex. Drawing a horizontal line. Then making this corner. And going down. I'll draw a couple of parallel lines and then this shape which I will simplify a little. Let's draw a few more lines following the guide. From these corners. And then connect them with more short lines at the bottom. It looks like a ladder. And I think it came out quite similar to the reference. Let's see what else we have. I think now we can remove assisted drawing, which can be also done in layer menu. And I will finish the remaining curves. So I will draw this arc on top of the door and try to make it symmetrical. Then 
then draw another arc above it. Try to make it parallel, as it is on the reference. Let me also draw this shadow, so it'll work as a prompt when coloring. Then we need to finish this arc on the right wall. And I'll try to make it same height as the door. Keeping the perspective. We have pot here, so let me show it schematically. Just as a few lines. I will erase these lines inside so the sketch looks clean. We can also determine the location of other pots on the left side. They will be mostly covered by the leaves, so we don't have to make them detailed. It will be just easier with coloring. Let me show a few more quickly. The sketch is almost ready, so we can add these lines on the door, to follow them later. And the last one. Alright, let me add this line on the wall. And that's it. We can now remove the drawing guide, since we don't need it. And we can use the sketch. So I'm going to create a new layer and place it under the layer with the sketch. Also I will make the sketch less visible. So I will turn the opacity to around 30%. I'm going to show you a few ways to apply watercolor brushes, so let's go ahead and pick one from the set. It will be soft watercolor brush. I will first apply the color on bigger shapes. So let's go to the color palette and pick the color for the door. With the size set to around 54%, I will just paint like this. Make sure I cover the entire door shape. After that I will click on the range icon, which is selection, and pick freehand mode, without color fill. Now I will outline the door shape. On the straight lines we can simply tap in the corners, And then draw this arc. I will still try to be careful and make it smooth. Let's tap here to close the selection. And after that invert it. I will swipe three fingers down and click cut. If we toggle the sketch layer, this is what we will get. Now let's work on the walls. So I will go to the color palette to change the color into wall number 1. I will also change the brush. Let's try hard water color now. And I will be using another technique. So we can set the size to around 30%. Or maybe even more. 35. And just start painting carefully. First go along the edges. And I will try not to lift the pencil up from the canvas. Let me go down. Then along this edge. And now I will simply paint the entire area inside it. We'll get a shape like this. And as you can see, the texture that we applied in the beginning of the tutorial is now revealed. And it looks like real watercolor. Let's now paint this big area on the left side, which is this wall. So I will also go along the edges, try to be careful. Going down now. 
then to the left and in the end paint it like this very fast to keep the color blended i'm not lifting the pencil up here as well we will apply all the textures later let's now continue filling the colors so i will change the color to wall number two and paint these two shapes using exactly same technique so let me go down here along the edge then try to match them here on the border and go up this one is also ready let's paint the big shape on the left so i'm working on the edges going down let's also work on this part even if it goes a little outside we can use a razor it's totally fine so let me paint it and then remove the small imperfection now it looks great we can actually check it out like this and see if we need to change something all right we can now work on the area around the door so i'm picking door arc color here we can use the same brush maybe make the size smaller so let me paint it like this on the left go up and these colors may intersect a little because after we remove the sketch there may be small white gaps we should try to avoid it I'm going up along the edges also not lifting the pencil up here and trying to be careful let me go to the right then down and then I will go up again painting the remaining part like this even if you lift the pencil up you can smudge the colors using smudge tool for example like this I make a stroke then selecting the same brush is the smudge tool and with low opacity I will make a few strokes like this it's totally fine it will just take more time all right let's consider this part also ready and paint this shape for that I will pick a color ground details. Let me make the size even smaller here. And paint like this. Also working on the edges first. We can create these intersections. And then draw at the bottom of the shape. Blending all the colors. All right. Actually, with the same color, we can paint the area here, inside this arc. So I will just do it. Let me paint inside it quickly. And it is also done now. We can actually paint this area around the arc. So here I will change the color. I think we can select same color as the door. So it looks slightly different. I will be working on the same layer still and paint like this. I made the brush size small so we can be careful and accurate. Actually we could paint all shapes on different layers and later simply erase. Let me go down here. So as you see on this part I will have to use smudger because I was interrupted. Okay, let me use it right away. I will just smudge this area and it will be fine. 
Let me continue on the left side and also go down. All right. I will also smudge it here. And it is fine now. We can paint the ceiling. And for that I will be using wall color number one again. Just increase the size a little. And work on it. I am referring to this image all the time. So it is nice to keep it as reference right on the canvas. And what is also handy is that we can pick colors right from here. What I actually did to create the palette. I just changed them a little. Alright. I think for this arc we can create a new layer. I will place it below this one. And pick this brownish color. That is called arc. I think I will also change the brush to soft watercolor. First paint it. And then just outline. I will tap on the straight lines to make it faster. Here I will continue. Follow the outlines, go a little more down and then tap to close the selection. Let's now invert it and cut. Very easy. I think we can add bricks texture here right away. So let me create a new layer and we can actually clip it. I will change the color to bricks. And also select brick wall brush. I will just apply it and lower the opacity a little so it's not too intense. I think 70% is totally fine. Now we can merge these two layers and as we can see on the reference the upper part of this arc is dark. So we can also do it. For that I will go to selection and pick rectangle. I will just outline it like this. Now let's go to adjustments and pick hue saturation brightness. I will start lowering the brightness. I think around 43% is enough. Let's deselect it and see how it looks. The drawing starts to get volume. But we need to continue. Let's now work on the ground. And I will also do it on the separate layer. Let me place it under all layers. And select the color for the ground. Here I will be using soft watercolor brush again. Actually what we can do here is go to selection and pick freehand. I will just tap on the corners to create the outline. Let's close it. And now that we have the selection, we can use the brush. Now what we paint will stay inside the selection. Like this. We can deselect it and add the details later. Now we need to paint the wall and these details. For this big frontal wall I will create a new layer. Let me also drag it down. And I will do this. I will go to selection and use freehand. I will tap on these corners. Then go to the right. Up. And outline it like this. On the shape that we created. Let's also tap here to close it. Then I will click remove and outline the shape following this arc. 
so we can actually tap here as well on the straight lines. And then follow the arc. Let's tap here. And the shape will be removed from the selection. Now let's tap on the brush. Let's now select hard water color brush. And wall color number one. Simply paint inside the selection. We can make the size big here. And we don't have to care about the edges because all the strokes will stay inside the selection. Now it is ready. Let's work on this part. We will need a reference for that. So I will make the size smaller here. And first paint this part. Starting from the edges and going inwards. With the same color we can paint this part. And match it with the wall. For this part I will select wall color number 2. We can actually paint it all. Let me do it faster. I will just try to be careful on the edges. Going up here. And finishing. Now I will do this. I will go to adjustments, pick hue saturation brightness and switch to pencil. Let's set hue to 50% and lower the brightness just a little bit. We can see that some parts are in shadow. For example this one. So I will start working on it. Then I will keep this one light and see the next one. This one is also highlighted and the lower one is actually dark blue. So let's finish with this. I think we can set the brightness to 44%, then deselect it. And I will grab door shadow color, which is dark blue. Let's paint this part. I simplified it a little as you can see, but still I tried to follow the reference. So it looks very similar. Alright, let's see how it looks without the sketch. I think quite nice. Let's check it out. And I think we need to paint this part under the door and also here on the right side with another shade of blue. So I will select door color here. We can use the sketch on this part. And I think I will create another layer above the ground. So I will just paint it like this. With a low brush size. And also this part under the door. So we are finishing with these smaller parts. And after that we will start applying textures and other details. Ok. I think we can work on this shadow inside the arc. And for that select the arc shadow color. I'll increase the brush size a little. And paint the area. Let me go to the right side. I 
I will continue here. And we can also go down on the sides with straight lines. We can see the shadow also on the left side. So let's make it. I'm not using quick shape tool here. Just painting with a free hand. But I will still try to make the line straight. Ok. We can also see some shadows on the top part of the wall. So let's find this layer. Go to it. And then to hue saturation brightness. Here I will also use pencil. We need to set hue to 50%. And lower the brightness a little bit to see it. We can actually use the same brush here. Just increase the size. And start darkening this part. To make it look like shadow. Let's adjust the brightness. And try to blend the colors. I will lower the opacity a little. Here I will be using smudge tool to make smooth transitions, like this. After we did that, we can also add a shadow here. So I will switch to brush and paint the area like this. Let me also smudge it a little. And this is also done. We can deselect now. And continue working on the door. So let's find the layer with the door. It's this one. And create another one above it. First I'd like to add these lines. That we can slightly see on the reference. Especially for that I created a brush. With vertical hedge pattern. Let's select it. And pick black color from the color disk. Let's also set the layer to overlay mode. The brush size is set to 57%. And I will start drawing inside the door. Try not to go outside the shape. Then I will grab a razor. And set it to soft brush. I will just erase the pattern here and there to make it slightly thin, exactly as on the reference, like this. Now I'd like to add these decorations and for that I will create another layer above. We can keep using black color and select the brush with decoration. It can be used both as a stamp and as a brush. Here I will set the brush size to 8% and first make a vertical line close to the left edge. We can edit the shape and make it parallel to the edge. Then I will draw another one on the right. Also make it straight. Draw a horizontal one at the lower edge, which we can also edit. Now we can draw the arc here on top. We can edit it. Match with the edges. And then draw these horizontal lines in the center. Three of them. Like this. Here we can also see the shadow on the door. So let's go to the layer. 
and use Hue Saturation Brightness option. We need to switch to Pencil here and set Hue to 50% first. Then we can lower the brightness a little and select a brush. Since we used soft watercolor brush on the door, let's continue using it. I will just lower the opacity to around 80% and set the size to around 16%. Go along the edge here on top and make a few strokes down. We can adjust the brightness now, make it even darker. Here I will make the size smaller and draw closer to the edge. Go a little down here on the sides. We can also use smudge tool here. Set to soft watercolor brush and blend the colors to make smooth transition. Like this. I think it will be enough. In the end I will draw this handle. So we still have black color. I will go to the layer with these details and maybe create another one above it. Let's select a painting brush, which can be hard watercolor. Set it to full opacity and very small size. Try to draw a shape as it is on the reference. Somewhere here. It looks like a star. So it'll go to the left side here. Then also down. I'm just trying to repeat the shape. Since we decided we want to make the drawing similar to reference. But actually we can change it. I will now paint inside the shape. Let me adjust it. Then I will pick the color that we used for ground details. And just draw a shape like this. Now we can pick the color right from here. Make another line or an arc and draw horizontally like this. I'm not repeating it 100%, just making something similar. We can smudge it a little bit, just need to switch to another brush and make a few strokes. Alright, let's not pay too much attention to this, since it is a very small detail. And we can consider the door ready. Next I'd like to add the texture on the walls. So I will also go to this layer and create another one above it. We can set it to soft light right away. Switch back to black color and pick a texture brush. Here in the set I have a brush called Stucco 2. I also picked it from my paper spec. We can set the size to around 16% and just add the texture on these parts. It will be better seen on dark areas. And I'm painting without lifting the pencil up here as well. Let's go to the left side and also paint this way. Going down. I'm applying it only on the wall. Like this. And it will also get darker. In the next step, I will be working on the ground. So let's go to the layer, which is number 5 at my end. And I'm going to create a layer above it. We can try to clip it and select the color for ground details. Here I'd like to use soft watercolor brush. So we will try to draw this pattern manually. 
I will set opacity to 75% and the size can be set to around 12%. I will just start making these strokes horizontally. And we also need to follow the perspective. So when we draw the spots closer to us, they should be slightly bigger. Yes, they are on the reference. Let me make them a little darker. And then I will also smudge them a little. Here we can use any of the brushes. I will just smudge the edges slightly. But actually it's not necessary. I just want to make it smooth. In the end we will get a pattern like this. But here we can also see some spots. So with the same color I'll create another layer and also clip it. Let's go to spray paints and select flix brush. I will set the size to around 28% and just make strokes. Here we can lower the opacity a little. Then I will also select white color. Create one more layer, also clip it and make a few more strokes. Also lower the opacity. Or we can just change the lace mode instead. Set it to soft light and the texture will be less visible. Alright, we will add the shadows later and now we can work on the green plants. So we can totally merge all the layers for the ground and create a layer above all layers with the colors, but it will be located under the sketch and under the texture. First we need to draw the pot. I will select door color and hard water color brush. Let's just paint it according to the sketch. along the edges and also inside. We can see shadows on the left side and also on the right. So let's make a few more strokes. And the color will get slightly darker. I will also paint on the left side and a little bit here. On top it is also darkened a little. Now let's smudge it with the same brush to make the shadows smooth. So I will just make strokes like this, blending the colors together. Once it is ready, we can start drawing the green part. So I will create a new layer above this one and select foliage color number 1, which is the darkest. Let's select watercolor foliage number 1 from the same brush set. Well, we can set the size to around 34% and start making strokes. It will go approximately from here to the left side. I will make another one above it. can make it a little wider here. Then add this branch on the left side. And the color will depend on the pressure. Now let me select the lightest color from foliage, which is number 4, and make more strokes. Then we go here. Going down and drawing like this. Just blending these two colors. So it will look like this foliage is shaded.
I will also make a stroke here. And then we can draw this plant. I'll do it on another layer. Let's create it above the current one. And select foliage color number 2, which is also dark. I think for this one we can use the brush from Procreate, which we can find in organic set. It is called sword grass. Let's set the size to around 15% and just make a few strokes. Like this. Then I will change the color to foliage number 3. And make a few more strokes on top of the shape. Then I will pick a lighter color. And draw a little more. In the end we will get something like this. I think we can also add the trunk here. And for that I will be using bricks color. I'll just create a layer under this foliage. And use one of painting brushes. Let's use hard water color here. I will just draw like this. So the branches will be seen. I think we can lower saturation and brightness to make it a little darker. Alright, now that's much better. And this side is ready. Let's now go to the left one. And before drawing the foliage itself, we can paint the pots. Some of them are blue and others are brown. Actually, we can paint them however we want. Let me start with this arc color. Using the same watercolor brush, I'll create a separate layer for it somewhere here. And just start making strokes, switching between different colors. I think we can use this one, so it doesn't look exactly like the wall color. Most area will be covered by the foliage. So we don't have to draw it very accurately. I will draw this one here. Then a few more brown. Ok, let me add one more blue. And now we can draw the greens. Let me toggle the sketch so I can see the result right away. And then I will create a new layer. I will be drawing this part in my own way. So I created a few more brushes for that. Let's start with watercolor foliage number 3. And select foliage color number 3 as well. I will set the size to around 30%. And draw like this. Changing the pressure. We can make it wider. See how it goes on the door here. It match it with this part. Then I will select a lighter color and make one more stroke to add shading. I think we can also add dark color, for example number 2. Draw on the left side. Now I will change the brush and select watercolor foliage number 2. Here I will start with the darkest shade, make it full opacity and select the size. I think it can be around 30% as well. Just making more strokes here, then changing the color into a lighter shade, making more strokes. And then going even lighter.
Here I will be using the same brush from Procreate. So let me go to Organic, select it, and also go from darker color to lighter one. So I will just paint here. And then add a few lighter tones. Ok, this side is also ready. We just need to add a few shadows. For example, here on the wall. So we need to go to this layer. And I think we can use Hue Saturation Brightness option. So let's open it. And switch to Pencil. I will set Hue to 50%. Lower the brightness as usual. And select a watercolor brush, which is soft. I will start drawing here. Let me make it even darker. Make more strokes. It can go even up here. And then I will blend it. Just a little bit. Let's see what else we need to shade. And I think we can add shadows on the ground. So I will deselect now. Go to this layer and here I will be using the same technique, which actually works great. So I'm going here, picking pencil and doing all the same. First I will darken these parts with the brush. We can adjust the brightness. Also darken this part. This way our drawing will get volume. Let me smudge it a little. And we are almost there. Let me deselect now. And go to the set. Here I placed a brush that is called Detail. We can use it to add a few outlines. Just to make the drawing a little sharper. So I will create a layer above all layers. Actually under the texture. And I will be doing this. I will be selecting the darkest color. And go along the edge. We don't have to outline the entire drawing. Just add lines here and there, especially on white gaps. This way we will fix them. I will work on the door first. Remove all the gaps that occurred. Then we can also add a line here, so I will pick the darkest shade and also go along the edge. The brush is set to 8%, but you can adjust it according to your taste. Make it bigger or smaller. I will draw a line here, also on this edge. Maybe we can separate these parts. Draw a line here. And maybe that's it. In the end I will create one more layer. And pick white color. Let me already close the reference. So I will just add my own touch. In the set there is a fine sandy texture. I will just set the size to 36% and make a couple of strokes. 
Then we can try to change its blending mode. We can set it to overlay or soft light. Now the drawing is totally ready. If you wish, in the end you can merge all the layers and play around with contrast. But I'll keep it as it is. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can also access tens of other tutorials on my Patreon. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.